Grease Book of Ladies Suggested the Super Gamer, and oh boy, we have a special video here today because this is a game that's technically still in alpha, and I was able to get early access to it. I've been following this developer known as ADS Development and his current project, Lost Caves. I saw footage of the alpha and I was very intrigued, but it wasn't until earlier this year that I actually asked him for a copy of the alpha for a review. So yes, the developer has given me full permission to take a look at his game. Now since this is an alpha build, please keep in mind that it is far from finished, so things about the game can definitely change a future development. With that said, this is Lost Caves. For what little story there is at the moment, Lost Caves is about Michael Miner, no, not Myers, Miner, on a quest to search the Lost Caves for gold, treasures, and other various wealthy possessions he can find. And that's literally it. Moving on. For any game that's still currently in alpha, Lost Caves is a pretty decent looking homage to 8-bit video games. The sprites are all well constructed, the backgrounds are well thought out, and the color palette is balanced but still fits the theme of being underground. The soundtrack is also pretty good. Granted, you are listening to the Terraria soundtrack right now simply because there's not an OST for this game, but I can guarantee that the soundtrack is quite memorable on occasion. The sound design, however, can use some work though. There's no sound effect for the attacking animation, and the sound of breaking boulders is just a little bit too loud. I didn't turn that up, that's actually how loud it is. So the sound design could definitely be improved, but overall, well done. In Lost Caves, you explore many different levels in search of wealth to continue exploring. I know the obvious comparison to make is Cave Story, but it's actually a lot more like DuckTales in a sense. Not just because you're gold hunting, but because you can indeed pogo just like Scrooge McDuck. Wealth can be found either in chests or by collecting gold coins scattered throughout the levels. And speaking of the levels, they're very non-linear, with plenty of nooks and crannies to explore. The enemies, while admittedly a little strange for the setting, still fit the theme of being in a lost cave really well. So far in development, I'm pretty impressed by what the developer has made, but it's not perfect. Some of the criticisms I have with this game are, one, there's no way to replenish your health at all. I don't know if this was the developer's intention or not, but health kits or something would be really nice for this game. Two, the boss fight. While a good boss, is it made clear that you can pogo on him after you stun him to deal more damage? Also, the blue boulder that lets you stun him can get stuck in the corner, and I couldn't figure out how to get it out. I also feel that too many enemies can spawn during the fight and just eat away at my health bar. And my final criticisms are, I couldn't figure out how to quit the game, and controller support would be really nice. But overall, solid gameplay. So overall, Lost Caves is a pretty decent platforming game. However, it still has a lot of work to be done if it's going to be as good as it can be. ADS Games, if you're watching this, I hope that you can take these criticisms into consideration and make Lost Caves the best game that it can be. As far as what we have is concerned, I'm going to give Lost Caves a 4 out of 5. Until then, I'm the Gamer, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye